and I feed my memories. I keep them alive. I have to feed them. If I don't feed them, they'll eat me up. Welcome to Goodman Theatre's Behind the Curtain, where we discuss plays, process, and more. Today, I'm here with Lisa Gay Dixon, who plays Aunt Esther in August Wilson's Gym of the Ocean. Hello, Miss Lisa, how are you? Hello, I am good. So you are playing Aunt Esther, such an iconic figure in August Wilson's American Century Cycle and yeah. the matriarch in Gym of the Ocean. Can you tell us what it's like to play Aunt Esther? As an actor, it's joyous. You want to be able to play someone who has meaning and depth and complexity, and she has all of those. One of my favorite things is the relationship between Esther and Solly because very seldom, if ever, do you see relationships between people where they are older and they are still romantic and there are sparks and there is fire. And I find that relationship interesting and complex and exciting because it makes Aunt Esther not just an idea, but a human woman. She has depth and sexuality and intelligence and humor. They both have humor yes. too. Yes, so, the yeah. flirting is. Oh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what I've loved seeing in your process is that you are finding like the essence, the essence of an Esther, the, the power of an Esther. Thank you. She has helped every generation. Absolutely, and I knew that she was iconic, I did not realize how she moved across the other plays. And so this play sort of is, her, in a way, her origin story. The character is a bit of a gateway that represents the opening of this story that is going to be told over this hundred years. And so I think she is representative of both the importance of the memories of the African-American community and how those memories sustain us and then also how that connection to who we were, how we came here, how we came to be, has to feed our present journey and our move into the future. If we lose touch with those roots and those ideas, then we are adrift in this current hegemonic white Western society mm -hmm. that doesn't really have a place for us. So we have to make our own place. And one of the ways we make our own places is to make sure that we take with us the memory of who we were and who we are. One of the lines, and I, I'm paraphrasing, that you say in the play is uh, about the memories you have to feed your memories. <gasps> that, is, that is a great line. I say, I'm not afraid to remember. Yeah. And then I say, I try to remember out loud. And I feed my memories. I keep them alive. I have to feed them. If I don't feed them, they'll eat me up. And that's, I feel, the, a message to, to America us embracing our history and, and not trying to rewrite history, but taking it as it is. Not try to rewrite it, not try to whitewash it. You cannot move forward if you cannot have a conversation about the truth of the matter. It is said often in this play that everything must stand in the light, the light of truth. That's what I think is so powerful about Jim of the Ocean, Aunt Esther putting our history in front of Citizen. Absolutely. And saying, you have a choice or embrace all of this. Who are you? Citizen represents a lot of knowledge that is not necessarily founded on history. These conversations that he and Solly and Eli have and Aunt Esther and even Black Mary that continue to educate him in a way about things so that he can look not just at his own individual wants and needs, but how can he meld those wants and needs with the larger community. So we've talked about some of our favorite lines mm -hmm. and moments. Any other favorite moments or, or lines in the play? Yes, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> I have a lot of favorite lines, so let's just say that. August knows how to write those. <laughs> but one of them is, if you live right, you die right. Mm. And that is, without my knowing it up to this point in my life, something I've been trying to do as a teacher and as a member of whatever community I'm in, that I want to live right so that what I leave behind betters what comes after.
Thanks for watching Behind the Curtain. For more videos like this, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.